Our first speaker is Ludia Larman, um, very unique international student. We, we have lots of international students, but she came to us from Canada by way of Haiti. Uh, she has overcome a lot in her very young life. Ludia has been an anchor on our USC sprint team for four seasons, a three-time All-American, and she's had her best season this, her final year. So please welcome Ludia Larman. Hi. Um, first of all, I just want to say how absolutely honored I am to be able to speak on behalf of so many phenomenal student athletes. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Ludia Larman. I'm a proud Canadian, and for the past four years, I've had the pleasure of being a member of the Trojan Track and Field team. When I was first asked to do this speech, I was completely terrified, and my first reaction was to say no. I have never done any public speaking before, so I knew this was going to be a challenge for me. But speaking in front of a crowd wasn't the only part I was nervous about. When I was asked to tell my st story, I was also nervous because generally, I'm a pretty private person and quiet about my past. Throughout my four years here at USC, I was constantly reminded of how lucky I was to be a part of this institution. I was reminded of it when I saw USC's acceptance rate. I was reminded of it when I'd hear about another snowstorm in Canada. I was reminded of it when, as Trojans, we would go out into the community and I'd see all the excited faces of the children. And I am reminded of it still, whenever I allow myself to think about just how blessed I am to have made it to my 22nd birthday when I shouldn't have made it to my third. See, I wasn't born in a big city like Los Angeles or a quiet suburb or even in North America at all. I was born in Haiti, and by the time I was two years old, I had been hospitalized several times because of starvation and malnutrition. When I was two years old, I still only weighed about 15 pounds. The other day, I was looking at the baby announcement from when my nephew was born. He was born 10 pounds and 6 ounces. So I can only imagine what I must have looked like at two years old and only weighing 15 pounds. My hair was an orange-red, my skin so brittled and scabbed, that my adoptive mother and sister had to douse me in ointment and wrap my body in bandages every night for months before my body began to heal. At that point in my life, life was already escaping my body and hope drained from my eyes. But I'm not telling you this to make anyone feel bad for me or to make anyone sad on graduation. I'm telling you this because even though my specific story might be an anomaly, we have all overcome our own obstacles to get here. Some of you come from broken communities, communities without hope. Some of you come from broken homes. And some of you may have even stopped believing in yourselves somewhere along the way. And yet, we are all here today, having achieved and accomplished so much. Sorry. And as athletes in our competitive nature, I know we'll stop at nothing in our quest for bigger and better things. My past has taught me that no matter where we started from, or even where we are now, our futures are not solely determined by our past, and that we all have so much potential for great things. And there are so many people we meet along the way that we're thankful for. People like Mr. Pat Hayden and Dr. Magdy, and all the staff in the athletic department, who pour so much of their time and energy into progressing our futures, not only as athletes, but also as students and as scholars. I am so grateful for all my coaches, and especially Coach Carroll, who taught me that the character of an athlete is not only defined by what we do on the track, but, but also by who we are off it. It's these people and so many others I haven't mentioned that are the foundation that make up the Trojan family. I remember when I first got here, the concept of us all being a family seemed so ridiculous to me. I think it's because when I first got here, I saw USC as buildings, degrees, and sports. It wasn't until I started seeing USC as teammates, coaches, advisors, and as people. That's when I started to notice the family within the institution. This past winter break, I was at home back in Canada and I felt this deep longing to be here, 
to watch my teammates imitate Vine videos and dance the nene, and I realized how much I'll miss all these people because they truly have all become my family. People always say the family is blood, that it runs through your veins. But if there's anything I've learned about being adopted, it's that family can truly be found anywhere. I'm living proof that family doesn't have to be limited to your blood. I have a really big family. I have two loving parents, four amazing brothers, three opinionated but wonderful sisters, and all of you, my fellow Trojans. And I want to congratulate each and every one of you for the achievements you have accomplished to this day and wish you all the best for the ones you will accomplish tomorrow. Thank you so much and fight on.